G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today I'm doing something a little bit different, but not too different. Today I'm going to be tasting the new flavours of shapes. We've got sausage... <laughs> Jesus. We've got sausage sizzle, if you don't mind. We have chicken parmy. Surely can't go wrong with the chicken parmy. And then we have meat pie. Um, I wouldn't mind them bringing out a meat pie and chips version. <laughs> uh -huh. Two cameras today. Two cameras. Alright, meat pie. What are we expecting here? What are we expecting with the meat pie? Meat pie on a chip. I'm, I'm not too sure about it. Is it gonna have the sauce? There's sauce on the packet, but I don't know how they're gonna incorporate the sauce flavor. Anyway, bit of ASMR here. Let's get into the meat pie flavor. Stock standard packaging. Hmm, smells pastry-ish. Smells like a bakery. I love my second camera. All right, here we go, it is shaped like an island which was colonized by convicts. We're gonna need a second opinion. <laughs> Told you horses. Wow. Meat pie flavor, up there. Up there for mine. That's an unbelievable taste. Mmm. I would eat that normally. Meat pie flavor. Massive tick. Massive tick. I reckon if your ten's pizza, for mine, your ten is pizza shapes. I reckon a meat pie is a cool 8.4. Wow, great flavor. I'm gonna leave the palmy flavor till last. I wanna get into the uh, sausage sizzle next. But I gotta cleanse the palate. Jeez, second camera doing bits. It gives you just a different perspective. It's very high and very wide, but we love the second camera just as much as we love the first. The sausage sizzle. What I like about uh, shapes when they do the new flavors, they do it very subtly. Like I remember having the Vegemite ones and it was a subtle flavor. And that's just, that's just brilliant cookery. All right, here we go. Revolutionizing the game. They, shapes are the food inventor of biscuits, aren't they? Hmm. Hint of sausage. All right, here we go. Sausage sizzle. Second opinions for those at the back. Sausage sizzle. You can taste the onion. And you can taste a hint of the sauce. Not doing heaps for me, but not horrific. It's not a bad packet of chips. If someone brought this out at a barbecue, I'd probably take it. I'd definitely take it over your nacho cheese, but yeah. Not bad. Not as good as meat pie, but not horrific. I would give, if pizza's a 10, <coughs> I would give sausage sizzle a 7.2. A 7.2. Wow. Right, this is what we've all been waiting for, the chicken parmy. I um, I grew up in Geelong and it was just known as a parmy and then I started interacting with some Melbourne individuals and they get very vocal of the parma name. People from Melbourne call it a parma. I don't know if anywhere else does. Like I'm pretty sure your South Australians call it a parmy, maybe I'm wrong. And I'm pretty sure like your country Victorians call it a parmy. And it just feels better parmy. Parma sounds weird for mine. Parmy feels good off the bat. Parma, you know, edge down to fine leg. Parmy clattered through the covers. Oh, I'm expecting a um, a pizza-ish type taste, but a little bit more cheesy, because obviously pizza and palmies have a similar sauce, and then obviously the palmy has cheese, so I'm expecting that, that pizza-shaped taste, but a bit cheesy. Mmm. You can smell the cheese, and it's a bit pizza-y, I reckon. That's what it looks like, flavor you can see. Typical brand, consistent brand. That is fucking phenomenal. Well done. Mmm. Oh. Tell me when to stop. I got dinner soon. Wow, wow, wow. The chicken parma. The chicken parma. I'd lose a leg for the chicken parma shape. That is that that's great. It has that tomato-y taste. It's not quite pizza shapes tomato, but it's bloody close. And then it has a hint of cheese. Bit of cheesiness. Some basil you can see on the on the on the biscuit, so that is a top tier shape. If pizza shapes are ten, chicken parma shapes is nine point one. Come on, nine point one. I'd happily eat this in my spare time, and I, I probably would. I probably would. All right, guys, that's another edition 
of taste testing aren't it? Shapes, new flavours, four years in between drinks. Uh, probably another four years before I taste test anymore, but for mine it goes the parma, the chicken parma, meat pie, and then the sausage sizzle. All pretty serviceable, and I think they're all serviceable because they have that base shapes flavour. Anyway, I'm going to knock down a few more of these, and I'll see you for some more videos in the future. Cheers.